YouTube report and I see my subscribers going up, my views going up, my minutes going crazy. So I just want to take time to thank you guys. You guys have helped me grounded. I know it doesn't seem like that because I go through cars like underwear, but I'm back. Some stability is here. Um, my 94 FD RX7 right hand drive JDM straight out of Japan. Um, I got this car in Nevada. You know, the, the, the guy who brought it in, imported it to sell. You know, he got it registered and everything. At least that's what, to my understanding. You know, got it inspected, passed, yada, yada. But, you know, here it is, y'all. Um, I'm just gonna go over the car, some things I like, some things I don't like, my plans for the car, yada, yada. But, you know, right off the bat, stock. I made sure I went and got a stock one. And this one has relatively low miles, it's 65,000 miles. Um, you know, no issues. You know, I, I, I regrettably, I did a lot of stuff to this car. I changed all the fluids. Um, it had a, a wiring nightmare I fixed. Um, and I'm sorry for that, but from here on out, everything I do, I'm gonna, you know, vlog it or blog or whatever, you know, upload on YouTube for you guys. But like I said, straight up stock. Um, the only issue in here is power steering leak it's just a small hose from the reservoir to the to the pump that needs to be changed really really inexpensive small so i just gotta put a new hose on there put some new clamps on it i might even get in the way with uh with tightening it but i'm just gonna change the whole thing because it's, it's inexpensive um another thing i did was the headlights it had aftermarket hid headlights on it that i absolutely hated it took away from the look of the car in my opinion I love the stock headlights. Um, I love them. So I was able to trade those and, you know, I got 250 out of it plus uh, the stock. So I made a little money off it. But like I said, straight out of Japan, low miles, um, fresh, no issues whatsoever, at least in the engine bay, as far as that's concerned. Um, it does have some Volks, I, I believe they're Volk GTC. Um, I'm not I'm not a wheel connoisseur. You know, I actually 
I actually hated these wheels, but they're growing on me. You know, you see the brakes there. Everything's clean, man. It's very clean. The only thing, I'm sorry, it's, the car is very dirty. Look at all these smudges. It's very dirty. This actually broke, so I, I was working on this. That's why this is all smudged up. But I have to change the handle to get it to work. Um, and then when I first went to the car, I don't know if the previous owner knows, I went to close it. These are really hard to close because they're sealed. They're sealed very well. So you have to slam it to close doors, unless the windows are open. When the windows are open, it closes easily. When they're closed, it's a nightmare. But I used my hip like a dumbass to close the door and I actually, I went all the way into the door. My body actually went into the door and came back out. Left a dent here. And then there's another dent, very small dent here. So I'm gonna pay to get those pulled. Very clean interior, one of the cleanest I've seen. You know, this Alicantara. Um, no rips, tears, nothing. Clean, just a couple stains, need to get an extractor. Um, I hope I'm not touching somebody's, you know, fluids. Don't know what that is. Everything's very clean. Very, very clean. And like I said, there was an electrical gremlin, man. They had all kind of electronics in here. You know, I tried my best to clean it up. And the wheat was, what wasn't used. And, you know, this here is broken. The doorbell is broken. Easy fix. Easy replacement. Very clean car, y'all. Very probably the cleanest car I've had to start with. And you know, justifiably so because I spent twenty-nine thousand dollars on this car. So but all right, moving on. Fun fact, because I didn't know this shit. This is actually an Afini. Mazda had like a, you know, what Toyota is, or what Lexus is to Toyota. They had a luxury brand called Afini that was from, I believe, 93 to 97 or something, and they axed it. They actually axed it. So, this is an Afini, it's not a Mazda. This is actually the only aftermarket part on this car. It's exhaust, stock otherwise, so it just has this cap back on. And like I said, look at all this bullshit I took out. This thing spoke Japanese when I turned the car on. I don't know what it is, y'all. If you know what it is, let me know. I took it out cleanly. I didn't want to tear it up, break it. But y'all let me know what this is, man. It spoke Japanese when I turned the car on. And of course they had this bullshit here with nothing hooked up to it. I mean, look at this, man, just a mess. This did have the bowl system, and it's over there. Y'all can see it. Don't mind the mess. Um, but yeah, like I said, imported. You know, have all the paperwork there. Has a spare key. Has a you know alarm system on it, which I don't like. But hey, it works. You know. Yeah, I understand, y'all. Very, very, very clean. I'm very happy with this purchase. Another thing is, uh, what is it? There's a bend in this wheel somewhere. It's a very slight bend. Can't even see it. I just snitched on myself for no reason. But easy fix. very hard to fit in this car. You know, I need to get a removable steering wheel. It makes it so much easier. Other than that, interior-wise, I have no complaints. You know, um, the coilovers are some high-end coilovers. This side, I believe, is blown. There's, there's mad fluid coming off of this one. So I believe this side is blown. There's some clunking in the rear. I probably do some, um, some bushings, redo some bushings. But other than that, super clean, y'all. I'm gonna have fun with this one. I do not know if I'm going to be doing, um, you know, an LS swap or if I'm gonna keep the rotary. But yeah, I figure you guys can, you know, see me for a little bit, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing an LS swap on this. Um, 
I like the rotary. It's very smooth. Um, you know, I had a boost leak when I first bought it, so I didn't know it wasn't going in a boost. Um, it actually has a boost gauge from um, RE Armenia or something like that. Some, you know, famous brand that people love. But the boost gauge just spins, so I don't know if it works or not. Um, so I removed that. Actually, it's still in there. I just took the lines off it so it wouldn't be a vacuum leak or whatever. Um, but the uh, this was torn. So when I got back to Arizona, I actually was um, able to grab a stock one, fixed it. Night and day difference. Um, I put some premix in it. Um, I redid the grounds. Night and day difference. This actually had a service bulletin out for um, the grounds on this or shit. They were all corroded. Um, and it actually had fuel issues. It caused bucking and stuff. Fix that. This thing runs 100%. Um, it did have a compression test, and I don't remember the numbers. The numbers were good from when I looked at it, because I got this like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, something like that. But, yeah. I don't know my plans, y'all. As I get into the video and change things, I got to revamp the cooling, um, exhaust, probably get an aftermarket ECU. Um, go for there. I, I probably want to bump up the power like 350, 400. And I've read you can do that on stock turbos. <sighs> probably switch them from um, sequential to just running full time. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this car. I just, I owed y'all some content. Let y'all know what I was doing, what I was up to. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. Um, I'm not going to say I love it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to sell it because I don't know. You know how that goes. So y'all stay tuned. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Give me all your thoughts, opinions, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, what I should look out for, what I fucked up and, excuse me, what I messed up and what I was inaccurate about, about the Affini and whatever, y'all. I, I was looking for a Z01, some other cars. I was even looking at GTRs and stuff. Um, but... When I looked up Z01s, for some reason, this RX-7 popped up. And I am not a JDM guy. I'm not a Gran Turismo, um, Need for Speed, uh, Initial D. I'm not that type of guy. I, I honestly, I don't know why I like imports, because I actually hate them, honestly. I don't hate them. That's a strong word. But I love LS. I love American cars. But sometimes I, I love the way the imports look. I hate the way their engines perform. So I always swap them. It's a perfect mix you know but i digress y'all let me know what y'all think what you think i should do what you think i shouldn't do things to look out for yada yada and i'll see y'all again next week sometime for the next mod or something